Tunisia. Thousands of demonstrators turn up however they can at Karouan, about 100 kilometers from the coastal resort of Hammamet. <laughs> The black flags of Islamic holy war, the Jihad, flutter from Kairouan's ramparts. The protesters are radical Islamists. Their idol is the leader of the world's most notorious terrorist group, Osama bin Laden. Listen, Obama, we are all Osamas, they chant. After the fall of Ben Ali, the moderate Islamic party Enada swept into power in Tunisia. But to these demonstrators, they are far too moderate. They are Salafists, and they want the Sharia, a state based on Quranic law. Islam will be the law and the ruler in this country forever and ever. The Salafists aren't interested in Western-style democracy, and to get what they want, they're ready to take up arms. Their leader incites them by showing off the hands of a former Guantanamo detainee he claims was tortured by American soldiers. That's America for you. This is America. I give thanks to God. May the Lord bless you. The outraged crowd defies Western leaders. They shout, listen, Obama. God is great. Listen, Sarkozy and Hollande, God is great. And they add, we're on our way. We're on our way. These self-styled jihadists see themselves as the new generation of those who fought in Iraq and in Afghanistan. Some claim to be part of Al-Qaeda. What they want is to take over the revolutions of the Arab Spring. The large turnout by Salafists in Kairouan is a first. Under Ben Ali, they had all been imprisoned. Abu Iyad, their leader, was one such prisoner. A long-time jihadist with ties to Al-Qaeda, he played no part in the Tunisian revolution. In favor of Sharia, he advocates a halal form of tourism where alcohol and sunbathing for women are banned. To those who own the hotels and those who own the travel agencies, I say, fear God, undertake only Islamic tourism for your brothers here and in the West. Your business will flourish as a result. Abu Iyad's party is illegal, but he wants the new authorities to clearly hear the voice of the Salafists. <laughs> If the message wasn't getting through already, there's no doubting the meaning of the military training. The man in charge of the training is Monsef Wergi, a legend among radical Islamists. The story goes he trained members of Al-Qaeda in both Iraq and Afghanistan. None of the Salafist leaders wanted to be interviewed during the protest. But a few days later, Monsef Uwergi agrees to talk. <laughs> Monsef Uwergi is in a Tunis sports center just a few hundred meters from the interior ministry. He teaches what he says is an Islamic form of martial art, adding he developed it himself. Is it based on the Quran? 
Yes, it, it is based on the Quran. Jab, thrust, jab, thrust. The form of combat is unusual, but effective. I developed it in prison. It's called Zamat Ktal and is based on time, space and death. Come on, bring me that, bring me that stick. Imagine this is a sword. You leave the space and time, and now it's time for action. And death? That follows the action. Only Muslim countries use this martial art. 